are you and your family? I hope you've been doing really well and your summer has been great. So today's video, I am doing a look with the So Very Lovely from ColourPop. And I went ahead and chatted about ColourPop, how they hadn't come out with a new makeup collection and I feel like they're focusing on restocks. So I hope that's interesting for you to watch and with all that said, I'll go ahead and start the video right now. Okay, so this one is a so very lovely palette. And these are the shades. Now this one is not completely the original. Unfortunately I did rearrange it so when I try to put back the original shades from this palette I don't think they're not correct. But we'll just go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade called Macaroon. And I'll go ahead and take my Sigma E40. So I wanted to come on here to discuss very briefly how refreshing it is to see ColourPop not releasing new collections since May. And I hope they keep it that way. I've noticed that these past few weeks they have been focusing on restocking a majority of their popular collections. Especially the one from Winnie the Pooh. I think that's absolutely amazing that ColourPop is finally as it seems that they're slowing down to restocking the things people had missed out on and that's great like we want ColourPop to do that because it's not healthy that they release a collection and it gets sold out quickly and then there's no signs of them restocking it once that happens and I think we initially saw that when when it was the release of Hocus Pocus, the original palette. I remember I was working that day, so I didn't even bother to get the collection, especially the palette. And, you know, I saw the comments in Twitter and in Instagram at the time. And a lot of people were complaining how fast it sold out. And they said that it was within like minutes as I heard. And so you can imagine like people must have been stressed out when they really wanted the palette. And then after when that happened, um, I don't think they restocked it right away. And so from there, I took the chance to look it up online to see if anyone was selling it. And yes, they were, but it was like triple the price from what the palette originally cost. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade uh, called Eyelet. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe 456. And you know what's very ironic about the situation? I feel like ColourPop really paid attention to the email surveys that were given out for past customers to fill out. Um, I don't know if it was regarding because I purchased something from their website and I got the email or I don't know if it's just a newsletter email that you're subs that you're subscribed to, but anyway, I filled in that survey and it said that they wanted suggestions of of what of what I wanted to see from them, and so for me, I wrote comments like. I would rather see restocks than new releases because it seems unfair to purchase something in a sense of fearing that it will sell out and there's no way of purchasing it again. And so that's what I wrote. and. Fast forward a few months later, here we are, and I feel like they took in, I'm pretty sure, a majority of people's wishes to stop with the new collections. So I'll go ahead and take lace up, and I'll use my finger. To apply that all over my lid. And so yeah, like I find it really exciting to see uh, past eyeshadow palettes coming back on their website. Um, I did miss out on purchasing the the Taylor Swift inspired palettes. I think one of them was called Very Well and then the other one was called Enchanted. And so most recently I looked at my email. I think it was about a week or two ago and I saw that they restocked Very Well and Enchanted. So that's amazing. I think that's good for someone who really wanted it last year and it sold out and never came back in stock for so long. So I'm happy for those consumers that really wanted those palettes and now they get to they get to just buy it whenever they want because at this moment it is still in stock. So looking at this palette, there's no inner corner shade. So I'm going to go ahead and take the whatever palette. And I'll take Tardy. And I'll go ahead and use my Dollar Tree brush. Yeah, so I'm really excited for ColourPop now. I am looking forward to whatever they are going to release in terms of uh, eyeshadow palette. They, I believe four weeks ago, it was like around the end of May, mid-May, and they released a mega palette called Smoking something, smoking something, <laughs> smoking hot. But that was the last thing that they came out with. And I think 
they reformulated a couple of their lip products. They brought those back recently, so that's exciting. Okay, so this would be my finished look. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, my friend. Um, I'm really excited for what ColourPop has in store for us in terms of the fall season or holiday. I think those kind of collections are always exciting to look forward to and see who they collaborate with. I hope that that they collab with Disney. I would love to see the Lion King collection, the Aristocats, and maybe Lilo and Stitch. I think those movies are pretty, um, they're pretty rewarding to watch the original films. And their classics as well. So thank you so much for watching. May God bless always. Be safe. Be well. Take good care of yourself. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.